Good evening, everybody. Uh, hello, thank you for waiting. My name is Don Hensley. I wanted to thank you for joining today's webinar with Sterling and SpeedTrader. Uh, for my segment, I wanted to speak briefly to give you SpeedTrader's tips on saving you money. Now, um, before I do, I wanna highlight some tangibles about SpeedTrader our clients find great value in. We at SpeedTrader, we've been around since 1999. We cater only to active day traders. So I tell people that if you are looking to buy and hold, or if you're looking to have somebody design you a portfolio and you're well within your right to do so, uh, we're really not gonna be a good fit for that, okay? We only cater to active day traders who dip into and out of the markets many times per day uh, for the pursuit of fast profits. And we give you the tools to do so. Okay, people come to us for three main reasons. Okay, commissions, which are extremely low, uh, short locates, and direct market access. We've got powerful platforms to help you achieve your trading goals, and Sterling is our newest partner on that offensive. So before I uh, hand the ball off to Sterling, I want to talk a bit about how Speed Trader can save you money. So first off, let's talk about direct market access, or DMA for short. So Many of you who come to us have been attracted by our low commission structure and our access to shorts. Um, you may not have been familiar with the term direct market access. You may be asking yourself right now, what is DMA? What is direct market access? Well, DMA is a term used on Wall Street relating to facilities uh, that give buy side a way to interrelate directly with the order book of an exchange. You see, each exchange has members, and 99 times out of 100, trading on the exchange order book is restricted to broker-dealers and market-making firms that are members of the exchange. So when using DMA, or direct market access, buy-side investment companies and other private traders like yourselves use the IT substructure of the sell side, but the trader gets to choose how the transaction is achieved themselves. So what do I mean by this? Folks, quite frankly, we're skipping the middleman here. All right, so let's just get a little bit more granular and uh, you know identify what I mean by the term skip the middleman. Okay, so look, here's my example. You need to change the oil in your car. You go to AutoZone and you buy the Fram auto oil filter that you need to do this. Now, you cannot go directly to Fram because they will not sell you just one filter. You know, business-wise, it makes no sense for them to do so. You pay a markup, right? You pay the markup to AutoZone. So it's kind of the same thing in financial markets. I mean, traditionally, you place a trade with a big-name brokerage house. They go to the market maker and place it on the market maker's books. Now, they're not obligated to show you, and therefore, the broker won't have you take a look at where the order could have filled. They're just gonna keep the spread. So in the business, we call that trading against you. Some of you may have heard this be referred to as monetizing the order flow, all right? So what direct market access gives you is the opportunity to get faster executions and better fills. Now, however, and as if that's not the best part, uh, DMA gives you the opportunity to get you rebates. Yep, rebates. So the market makers pay for adding liquidity to the market. Now, in my previous example, the market makers are not paying the trader, right? They're paying the broker. So with us, we pass the rebate on to you. I mean, after all, you, you know, you earned it, right? So in some cases, it can be as much as 20 mils per share. And what's adding liquidity? You know, folks, honestly, it's a limit order, right? A buy limit below the ask or a sell limit above the bid. All right, so that's my first part of Speed Traders tips for saving you money, direct market access. So inbox me directly at dhensley at stockusa.com. That's H-E-N as in Nancy, S as in Sam, L-E-Y at stockusa.com for any questions you have on DMA, and I'll be more than happy to answer them. All right, so uh, this leads me directly into uh, the second part of Speed Traders tips for saving you money, lower commissions. So I want to have a special promo for all of you out there today. For those of you that joined um, on this webinar, entertaining the idea of opening an account, I can offer you $2.95 a trade or 39 mils a share with a $2 minimum. All right, so when you send in your application, use the code DRHFL2018 for access to this exclusive pricing. Again, that's DRHFL2018, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to get you going. Okay, so now listen. You guys trade, 
you guys get the wholesale pricing because of your volume. So I want to help you get the hang of how your pricing can be lower still. All right. Look, per share commissions. Some people say, why would I go with per share? Well, I'll tell you. First off, take a random sample of your trades over the past three months. All right. So the first thing I want you to do is I want you to look at how many times you've traded. And then I want you to look at how many shares are in those trades, what we call how big are the lots. All right. Now, lastly, I want you to add up the total amount of shares you traded in a typical month. So when you plug your variables in, I want you to note that pricing prior to today's promo is at 449 a trade and 40 mils a share. So I had a client last month that was on our per trade pricing. So she she made a total of 300 trades for about 300,000 shares combined, bought and sold. So her commission, 449 times 300 or roughly $1,350. So I took a look at what she was doing and I gave her a call. I said, listen, you, you, you're paying way too much here. All right. If you were to go to our per share pricing, because it's tiered, you would qualify for 39 mils a share. So this is going to ratchet you down from $1,350 a month to $1,050 per month in commission. You know, so she, she called me a couple of days ago. She told me she was at the car dealership. She was going to buy the car anyways, but with the new commission structure, saving over $300 a month, she was able to get the better options package for her new vehicle. So take a look at your trades, folks. And if you have any questions about the math or the best plan for you to be on, please call me directly. 800-874-3039, extension 409. That's 800-874-3039, extension 409. So listen, we have an access to a robust list of shorts and third-party locate services, but I don't want to take the wind out of Sterling's sale, okay? Go through the webinar, get the features and benefits of Sterling. Should you still have questions about shorts, again, email me directly at dhensley at stockusa.com. All right. Now, as far as routes go, the partnership that we have with Sterling is a strong one. On the ETC side, Sterling has over 15 routes that our clients can use. And of those 15, six of them offer you a rebate. Okay, now this is going to result in better and faster fills, okay, and more money in your pockets. Again, call me directly, 800-874-3039, uh, extension 409, and I'll walk you through how you can achieve those rebates. Now, in regard to reaching out to me directly, I want to talk about our live support. Look, Speed Trader is a team of professionals, and we're united by one common goal, okay? We're a firm built by traders. We built it for traders, and we offer competitive pricing, rebates, short lists, quality client service, either through phone, email, or chat. I mean, what I want everybody to do right now, I want you to visualize a triangle, and at one point, we're going to have low commissions. In another point, we're going to have short availability, and in the last point, we're going to put customer service. So now we made it our business goal to be able to stretch a rubber band around all three. Now, some brokers, you know, uh, they have great commission rates. Good luck getting them on the phone when something goes wrong, right? They got hold music for the hold music, okay? Other brokers have great client service, but then you come to find out their commissions are $6.95 a trade or as much as a penny per share. So speed traders here to help you achieve. And we take that very, very seriously here. When you have questions, call. There's no hold music, call. When you want a question answered, chat in. You may even see me on the chat. Okay, there's no you know waiting here at Speed Trader. That's why we call it Speed Trader. All right. So what I want to do is pause for my uh, presentation right now, and then I'm going to turn it over to Jim from Sterling, and he's going to talk to you about all the fantastic reasons why we've taken Sterling on. Hi everyone, thanks Don. Thank you very much for the uh, for the introduction. We appreciate it. Uh, this is Jim Navati. I'm president of Sterling Trader. Uh, we're thrilled to partner with Speed Trader. Um, they've been a uh, great partner of ours. You know, and everything that Don just reiterated the you know the call and talk to a human. Uh, all of those things are, are are great talk. Are great you know, reasons why we're excited about this partnership. Um, all of the different routing available, the locates list. Uh, you know, they're, they're a very valuable partner. We're excited to be, to, to join them. Uh, I'm going to turn over for the presentation of Sterling. Uh, I'm going to turn over to Melinda Joseph, our marketing director, uh, but she'll show you the Speed Trader Elite platform, 
uh, which is uh, built uh, specifically for speed training. Melinda, all yours. Thanks, Jim. And Jim is going to stick around through the end of the webinar in case there are any specific platform questions. Today, we're going to take a look at five of the top top tips to save time while placing trades in Speed Trader Elite, which is brought to you by Sterling Trading Tech. First, the first time-saving tip is in regards to setting your defaults. As you can see in my screen, I have the platform set up as a one monitor screen for widescreen and your main toolbar is in the bottom right corner of the screen. So to set main defaults for most of your trading needs, you are able to go to view followed by settings. And in this Speed Trader Elite settings tab, you have a variety of different sub tabs for options to set up preset defaults for destinations, for quantities, for accounts, etc. Most of your preset defaults will be accessible from this window, which we went to view and then settings to access. The second time saving tip is in regards to linking and layouts. The linking is actually quite simple. As you can see from each of these windows, there's a green color rectangle, if you will, in the top right corner. The green rectangle implies that the windows are linked to each other. So for example, if I were to type in SPY into the level two window, you now see that it has changed in time and sales. You see that it has changed in the charts window, et cetera, because they are linked. This is a great feature and with the color-based window linking, it's very quick and easy to see which windows that you have open are linked. Another great feature is that you can have multiple windows open at the same time. So for example, if I wanted to open a second chart, I can quickly go to Windows and then select Chart, and I can now have two charts open at the same exact time in the same platform. All of our windows can have multiple windows open at the same time, and they can also be moved individually as well. So for example, if you're working with a multi-monitor setup, you can individually move each window on its own. Additionally, if you hold down the control key, you can control the actual control window. Now, if you just move the control taskbar, the entire platform will move with it, which is pretty convenient depending on what else you have at your workstation. Now, the last part for number two is saving a layout. If you have this perfectly set as a rectangle for your specific preferences, all you have to do is go to actions from your main toolbar and the top options as you can see are save layout, or save layout as, or load layout. So for example, if you're specifically trading something and have a layout that you've customized, you can set it with a name. Let's say I save it as Melinda one. And if I have a second layout for other specific trading needs that I save as Melinda two, I can then load other layouts or save layouts as needed and fire them up as desired. Our third time saving tip is in regards to creating and customizing hotkeys. To create and customize hotkeys, we're going to go back to that same original default window, which we went to view in the main toolbar, followed by settings. And in this main window on the left hand side where it says hotkeys, the first thing you'll do is click the box or check the box that says enable hotkeys. And by enabling the hotkeys, you'll then see the text become in color, which all of these blue hotkeys are default hotkeys that once you start using Speed Trader Elite will be already preset. Now, if you wanted to create a custom hotkey, once created, you will see it in this same window in white. So for example, I have set a custom hotkey of buy 100 bid that I made the hotkey control B. Now, 
I can also edit this at any time by clicking on edit and I can set the quantity, I can set the destination, the account, etc. I can also from this same window add a new hotkey as well. Again, your custom hotkeys you add will be in white at the top and the default hotkeys already set are in blue. If this checkbox is not checked, hotkeys will not be enabled. Now the fourth time saving tip is in regards to hot buttons. This is actually not in the main window. This will be in your level two window. To access this, you will go to view, followed by hot, bar, hot button bar setup. Once you select this, you're able to view the hotkeys that you've created, the custom hotkeys there where we just showed. Now, as for example, I've already mentioned I've created by 100 bid as a hotkey. I will then click on this right arrow, which will move this over to a button. I'm also going to move cell as well. Now, I can change the text color and I can change the button color as well, so that once I see it in my level two window, it will be easy to identify. Now, to quickly use this as an example, I'm going to use blue and red for you to see. All I did was move these over with the right hand arrow, adjusted the background and the text. I'm going to hit OK. And you now see them here in your level two window. And if you go back to view and go to hot button bar, you can see that it's selected, which I just deselected it. and you can make those adjustments from there. The fifth and final time-saving tip is in regards to our charts window. Our charts window has recently had a lot of updates, so it's exciting to take a look at all the time-saving tips and tricks regarding the charts window. As you can see at the bottom of this charts window, our charts window is able to have multiple tabs. So you can quickly click from tab to tab to view different stocks. And as they're linked, they're also then changing in all of your other windows. Now, to adjust the time setting, you can click this drop down and adjust the time right there as well. Additionally, you can check all of the different charting options right from this drop down at the top of the window as well. You can also quickly add and delete tabs by right clicking on a tab and hit remove. And to add, you can quickly just click right into the chart and just start typing a symbol, hit OK, and it will add that new tab. These are being shown alphabetically, which is also quite convenient when you are quickly viewing your charts. These are the top five tips for saving time while trading. All of them really have to do with customization and making all of your defaults and customizations set for your preferences so that you're not setting them for every trade or on a daily basis. Again, those were setting defaults, linking and layouts, creating and customizing hotkeys, creating hot buttons, and taking a look at the charting capabilities. Um, you will be able to receive a handout of these five top tips from SpeedTrader after the webinar. Thank you so much for taking the time to take a look at the SpeedTrader Elite platform brought to you by Sterling Trader Pro. And I, if anyone does have questions, I'm sure Don or myself will be able to answer them regarding SpeedTrader and Sterling.